Hola, mis amigos. I'm so happy to see you. Are you ready for chapel? Great. Let's sing our song. I am welcome here in God's house. I am welcome here in God's house. How I love to be in God's family. I am welcome here in God's house. I am growing up in God's house. I am growing up in God's house. How I love to be in God's family. I am growing up in God's house. I can learn with you in God's house. I can learn with you in God's house. How I love to be in God's family. I can learn with you in God's house. Ah, oh, awesome job. Now, it is the Christmas season and you can see I'm wearing one of my Christmas sweatshirts. So we probably should sing a Christmas song too, don't you think? Let's sing the song we've sung for the last two weeks, which is the angel song. And it's about the angels who come out in joy. Are you ready? Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria. In excelsis Deo, Gloria. In excelsis Deo. Mmm, beautiful. I love hearing your voices when you're singing. Let's take a minute to pray to God. And when we pray, Sometimes we put our hand on our heart to help us remember to keep our body calm. We put our hand, other hand on our ear to help us remember to listen. You can keep your eyes open or you can close them if that helps you focus even more. Let's take a big breath together and when we breathe in the goodness of God, try to listen to any inspirations that might help you feel peace or hope or love or joy. Okay, here we go. God, thank you for today. Thank you for bringing joy to the world. We're so thankful, and we know that you find joy in us. Amen. Well, this is the third week of Advent. In the first week of Advent, we had the week of hope. And we lit the hope candle where we knew that in sadness and darkness and things that were hard, that God was with us and that there's hope always. So that's our hope candle. Then the next week, last week, was Peace Week, where when we have the love of Jesus in our heart, we can feel peace, and we can also push peace out into the world, and we can be peacemakers. We can help others, and we can create peace around us with the help of God. So that's Peace Week, two weeks. And this week is the third week and this week is joy week. Can you show me your joyful face? Joy means that you're filled with love and grace and peace and goodness so much that you just feel so awesome. You feel joy. It's even stronger than happiness. And so this week we're going to light the candle. This is a fake candle. The candle of joy for Advent. And we won't be together next week, so I want to talk about next week also because that is a really important week. And the fourth week of Advent is love. And so if you are lighting candles at your house, you can light the, the fourth candle, the candle of love next week, okay? I have a special book 
for us to read. It's called, Twas the Evening of Christmas. And it's a rhyming book. So I want you to listen really carefully to hear about the rhyming that's going on. I'm going to scoot our candles onto my windowsill so that I don't knock them over while I'm reading to you. Okay. I'm going to scoot a little bit. There's a little glare. Sorry about that. I know you're really flexible and that you are very patient with me and my technology issues. That's better. Twas the evening of Christmas. I really want to get the glare off. Can you see what's going on there? There we go. Okay. Twas the evening of Christmas when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Mary and Joseph went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor. Here's Mary. She's tired. She's just in a big trip. Thank goodness, said Mary. There we go. If I tilt it, there we go. Thank goodness, said Mary, who tiptoed inside. The mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes they might have a calm, peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds. Look at these pigeons. While visions of breadcrumbs danced round their heads, the cows closed their eyes and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently, the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow with a glimmer of light on the stable below. Can you see the stable? It's right here. A stable is a place where animals stay for shelter. When quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows, the oxen and sheep. Up popped the pigeons, aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at the small baby boy and his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in their manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. Oh, look at this sweet, beautiful baby. Have you ever seen a little baby? They're just so, so cuddly. And out in the fields, taking care of their sheep, some shepherds were just getting ready to sleep when all of a sudden they had such a fright. A whole choir of angels came lit up in the night. If you were out in a field and a whole bunch of angels lit up the sky, do you think that might surprise you? I think it would surprise me a lot. But the song of the angels, the words that they said, soon let the men know they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news that we bring. A savior is born. He's Jesus, the King. They ran to the stable and peeked through the door and saw something never imagined before. There in a manger, a baby boy lay. No blankets, no pillow, 
his bed made of hay. Do you know, these shepherds were told by a whole bunch of amazing angels that a baby king was born. Do you think they were really surprised to find this baby king in a stable rather than a palace? I think you're right. And to that small stable came the three splendid kings with gifts for the baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with their frankincense gold and myrrh that smelled sweet. The stable was filled with a wonderful light as stars above Bethlehem twinkled so bright and high in the heavens God whispered, My son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. Then, back to their slumbers, the animals curled, amazed at this babe who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary laid Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. Well, does your mom or dad tuck you in for bed? And when they do that, do they whisper to you? Well, Jesus was a baby, and his parents, Mary and Joseph, also tucked him into bed, and they whispered to him, with love and grace and peace, and it was so beautiful. You know, this Christmas story is so full of joy because God said, oh, these people cannot really understand me. I am too big and too much for them. And so God had this amazing idea God sent down a little baby and God put that baby in a stable, in a place where anybody could go. You didn't have to be a king. You didn't have to have money or be special. You just had to be a person who could walk to a stable because God believes that everybody should be included and everybody is important. God said, I'm sending someone who's for everyone, not just for some people. And that's one of the things I love about God. God, as we've talked about before, God is full of surprises. And God keeps their promise. And God has so much creativity. And God loves beauty. And God also loves you. So this Christmas season, when you are cuddled up with your family and you're enjoying all the lights and the glitters and the sparkles and the treats and the presents, remember that the biggest present is that God is with you and God is thinking about you and loves you. I was wondering if you would want to sing a song. It's sort of a peppy song and kind of loud. So you might, you can sit or you can stand. We're going to sing Jingle Bells together because Jingle Bells is a song that I have noticed makes kids feel joyful. And this is Joy Week after all. We want to make sure that we are finding joy all over the place. And Jingle Bells does that. Don't you agree? All right, take a breath. Here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go. Oh, dear. I'm forgetting the words. Help me remember. 
Okay, I got it, I got it. Are you ready? Dashing through the snow. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a slinging song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh man, you sound amazing. And thanks for being patient with me while we sang that song and I forgot the words. Oh my goodness. I know I don't have to worry because I know how patient you are. Let's go and grow in wisdom, godly strength, and love. I love you so much and God loves you and your family loves you and your teacher loves you. You are surrounded in love. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad, amigos.